Hello. I'm Mrs. Kavanaugh, from Kanas Key High School. Welcome to the first film. For Carlam Cum Re, A.S. Revision. This revision session looks at biodiversity. Biodiversity is part of the AS specification, Unit 2. The exam is one and a half hours long. With a mixture of short and long questions, as well as an extended response question. Examples of questions will be included in this film as we go through the topic, and at the end of the film. There are two films in this series from within the unit, 2.1. This first film introduces and looks at the principles behind classification, why we need classification, and the three domain versus the five kingdom classification systems. In the second film, we will look at the characteristics of the organisms in the five kingdoms. Exam questions will be used in both films to support your learning. Let's look at where this film fits into the specification. The specification reference is Part A, the classification of organisms into groups, based on their evolutionary relationships, and that classification places organisms into discrete and hierarchical groups, with other closely related species. And Part B, the need for classification and its tentative nature. And finally, Part C, the three-domain classification system, as compared with the five-kingdom classification system. Here are our key words for this session. Animalia. Archaea. Bacteria. Classification. Domain. Eukarya. Kingdom. Fungi. Planty. Prokaryote. Protoctista. Species. Linnean system. Taxonomic hierarchy. Three domain system. Five Kingdom Classification System At the end of this film, you will find definitions for these key words. Make sure that you learn them for the exam. What is classification? Classification is described as a process of naming and organizing organisms into groups based on their characteristics and evolutionary history. Classification brings order to what would otherwise be an unorganized mass of organisms. Let's look at our objectives for this revision session. We will define the term, classification. We will become familiar with the five kingdom classification system. We will understand the three domain classification system. And finally, we will compare both the five kingdom and the three domain classification systems. At this point, it is useful to remember what we already know from GCSE. You should be familiar with classification and the five kingdoms of classification. You should remember that classification of living organisms is hierarchical, with the kingdoms having the greatest number of living organisms, and the number of organisms within each group decreases until species is reached. So, let's have a look at what classification means. Pause the film here and write down your definition of classification. The Five Kingdom classification system has been used by scientists since the late 1960s. The five kingdoms are further divided into Phylum. Class. Order. Family. Genus. And species. With the species being the smallest taxonomic group. And kingdom the largest. A further fact about classification is that the groups of organisms are discrete. This means that one organism cannot belong to another group. Each group is called a taxon and is found at each taxonomic level. Classification can also be described as phylogenetic. This means that organisms, which are in the same taxon, are more closely related to each other. As you can see from this diagram, which is called a phylogenetic tree, all of the organisms had a common ancestor. But over the evolutionary period, 
they have diverged to become separate species. Those organisms at the top of the phylogenetic tree, kangaroo, and elephant, are more closely related than those at the top and the bottom of the phylogenetic tree. Fish and elephant. Now we know what classification is, we can look at two systems of organization, the five kingdom classification system and the three domain classification system. Let's look at the five kingdom classification system first. So what is the five kingdom classification system? As I mentioned earlier in the film, the five kingdom classification system is the system you would be most familiar with from your GCSE studies. The five kingdom classification system is the classification of organisms into five major kingdoms. Animalia, which are animals. Plantae, which are plants. Fungi, organisms which include yeast and mold. Prokaryote, which are single-celled microorganisms, and Protoctista, are single or multicellular microorganisms. We will look at the characteristics of each of the five kingdoms in another film. Now, let's look at the three domain classification system by asking and then answering the question. What is the three domain classification system? Write down your ideas of what you think the three domain classification system is about. Pause the film here and write down what you know about the three domain classification system. The three domain classification system is a method of classification in which organisms are categorized into three groups. Eubacteria. Eubacteria are true bacteria. Archaea. Archaea are prokaryotes. And eukarya. Eukarya are all eukaryotic organisms. Let's now look at how the three domain system of classification was developed and the tentative nature of classification. The three domain classification system was developed in the 1970s after scientists studied ribosomal RNA. Their findings suggested that there should be three domains. A domain is a larger taxon than a kingdom. Bacteria are varied in types. They can be rod-shaped, such as E. coli. You can see an example of rod-shaped bacteria on this film. They can be spiral-shaped. They can be spherical. Or they can even be comma-shaped. Extremophiles live in extreme environments. For example, polar regions, deserts, or hot, geothermal springs, like this one, in Yellowstone Park, USA. Eukaryota is a broad domain, with organisms, as diverse as mammals to ants from plants to birds and crocodiles to fungi. The range of different types of living organisms is vast. By analyzing molecular differences between organisms, the evolutionary relationships could be determined. This led to all organisms being either prokaryote or eukaryote. All organisms have evolved along three separate lineages. The previous classification of organisms before ribosomal RNA analysis has now changed. This is why classification is described as tentative. This is because it can change as new information comes to light. Let's now look at some short recall questions to test our understanding so far. What do organisms in the same domain have in common? They share the same ribosomal RNA. Our next question refers to the binomial naming system. 
Which two taxa are used to make the binomial name? The answer is genus and species. Our next question is about domains. Biochemical evidence led to the development of the domain classification system. Which of the following is not a domain? Eukaryota, archaea, nidaria, or bacteria? The answer is nidaria. Moving on to our next question, the taxonomical classification system is hierarchical, with larger taxa subdivided into smaller taxa. Which of the following is the correct order of the taxa from largest to smallest? We have kingdom already given, and need to complete the taxa in decreasing size order. We should follow kingdom with phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. How many domains do scientists use to classify organisms? 3. Which taxon has the largest number of organisms? Kingdom. Classification is hierarchical, what does this mean? It means that larger groups are split into groups of decreasing size. Which word describes the fact that one organism can only belong to one taxon? discrete. Now we'll look at some exam questions from previous WJEC papers. Make sure you use these past paper questions to help with your preparation for your exam. Past paper questions will help you to get used to the type of questions you might expect in your exam and also help you to apply your knowledge of what you revised to previous questions. The benefit of using past paper questions is that it gives you an idea of your strengths and weaknesses before you sit your exams. This means that you can focus your revision on those areas in which you feel less confident. You should time yourself to see how well you answer questions within the available time. Take some time at the start of the exam to read through the whole exam paper. This will help you to plan how you might tackle the questions. What order will you answer the questions? And which higher mark questions will you answer first? Make sure you know what the question is asking you, check you know the meaning of the verb. For example explain or evaluate, and the concept being examined in the question. I have mentioned several times, the need to read questions carefully to try to understand what the examiner is asking. And then write in your answer. Other things you might like to consider include. If you think that you cannot answer a particular question. Then leave it and come back to it later. It is amazing how often you can remember some. If not all of the answer, when you return to it. Another useful revision skill, is to use mind maps. It is a good idea to Google Tony in mind maps to find out more about them. In the words of the creator of mind maps, Tony Buzan. A mind map is a special kind of brain-friendly diagram that helps you to think. Imagine. Remember things. And plan and sort information. In short, it's a perfect tool to help you to do your revision. I have produced a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own mind map. Pause the film at each step. 
read the instructions, complete them, and then move on to the next step, until you have your own mind map revision resource. You can do this. Good luck. For the first question, in 1977, Carl Woese proposed the three-domain system, based on analysis of differences in the nucleotide sequences of 16 srRNA genes. Identify the domain to which the giant panda would belong. Give a reason for your answer. There are two marks for the question. Pause the film here, and write down your answer. The answer is eukaryota which would give one mark. The second mark requires you to describe the reason for the answer. The correct response here is, contains membrane-bound organelles, or DNA is bound in an envelope, or ADS ribosomes, or multicellular. Our second question contains some reading matter and two diagrams before we answer the question. Whales and dolphins belong to a single group of carnivorous, marine mammals called the cetaceans, order Cetacea. Cetaceans are comprised of three sub-orders. Odontocete, toothed whales, including sperm whales and dolphins. Mysticete, baleen whales. And Archaeocete, the extinct ancestors of modern whales. There have been a number of theories, regarding the closest living relatives to the cetaceans. The diagrams shown illustrate two of these theories. State the term used to describe diagrams, such as those shown above. This is a one-mark question, so only needs a short answer. Pause the film here and write down your answer. The following responses would be acceptable. Phylogenetic tree. Or evolutionary tree. Or phylogenic. The mark scheme states to accept cladogram. But the exam board won't accept family tree or pedigree diagram. Our next question shows a table, with values showing the number of differences, in the nucleotide sequence of the genes coding, for the synthesis of the milk protein casein, in different mammals. We need this information, and the phylogenetic trees to answer the following questions. Use the information in the table to explain whether diagram A, or diagram B, represents the currently accepted theory, regarding the closest living relative to the cetaceans. The question is worth three marks. Pause the film here, and write down your answer. The first mark is for diagram B. The second mark is stating that the hippo is the closest relative or shares the most recent common ancestor with the hippo. The third mark is for an answer stating the reason of the fewest differences, or most similarities, or use of data. The next part of the question is worth two marks and states, modern taxonomic classification combines Cetacea and Artiodactyla into a single order, the Cetiarchidactyla. 
Explain how this illustrates the tentative nature of biological classification. Pause the film here and write down your answer. For the first mark, our response is that classification may change or is not fixed or is not permanent. The second mark requires an answer from the following. As more information or knowledge or techniques become available or words to that effect. The final question is worth one mark. Both the common bottlenose dolphin, Terciops truncates, and the killer whale, or Sinus orca, belong to a smaller taxonomic group of the suborder Odontocete, called the Delphinidae. Name the group in the taxonomic hierarchy, to which the Delphinidae belong to. Pause the film here, and write down your answer. The answer is family. Our next question asks us to name the class and family, to which humans belong. Pause the film here, and write down your answer. The class is Mammalia, and the family is Hominidae. Another table completing question. This time, for the classification of the snow leopard, we need to complete some taxon names, and genus and species names. Pause the film here, and write down your answer. The missing taxon are class and family. The missing genus and species are Panthera and Unchia, respectively. Remember to use a capital letter for Panthera and a lower case for Unchia. There are two marks available for all correct answers. Our final question is one of the extended answer questions. Asking us to describe and explain the principles underlying the modern classification, this question is worth 10 marks. Pause the film. Try to answer the question. And check your answers against the mark scheme. How well did you do? The mark scheme given includes a definition of modern classification, defining taxa, the correct naming and sequencing of the hierarchical taxa. Describing cell types of organisms. Defining genus and species. Further discussion of how biochemical methods compare similarities in DNA. The greater the similarity. The more closely related to the species. We have defined the term classification, and we have become familiar with, and compared both the five kingdom classification, and the three domain classification systems. Definition of Keywords Animalia A biological kingdom consisting of multicellular, heterotrophic eukaryotes that do not have a cell wall. Our key. One of three domains made up of primitive bacteria, existing in extreme environments. For example, extremophile prokaryotes. Bacteria. One of three domains that consists of true bacteria. Classification. The organization of organisms into groups. Domain. The highest taxonomic rank. There are three domains. Archaea. Bacteria and eukaryota. Eukarya. One of three domains. That consists of all eukaryotic organisms. Kingdom. The second highest taxonomic rank. There are five kingdoms. Animalia. Fungi. Planty. Prokaryote. And Protactista. Fungi.
a biological kingdom consisting of heterotrophic eukaryotes that have chitin cell walls and reproduce asexually by producing spores. Planty. A biological kingdom consisting of multicellular eukaryotes that have a cellulose cell wall that can photosynthesize. Prokaryote. A biological kingdom consisting of unicellular prokaryotes, which lack a true nucleus and membrane bound organelles. Protactista. A biological kingdom consisting of unicellular prokaryotes. Species. A group of similar organisms. Better able to breed with one another to produce living fertile offspring. Linnean system. The classification of organisms into Kingdom. Phylum. Class. Order. And species. Taxonomic hierarchy. The arrangement of organisms into successive levels of classification. Known as taxonomic groups. Five Kingdom Classification System The classification of organisms into five major kingdoms Animalia Fungi Plantae Prokaryote and Protactista Three Domain System A method of classification in which organisms are categorized into three main groups Archaea Bacteria and Eukaryota The next film will look at the characteristics of the organisms in the five kingdoms. See you then. Thank you for watching this film.